First fish of the trip. Been casting for a while now. We only had like two strikes and one tap. This is the first one on the 3D 25 centimeter. Oh, nice little pikey. 25 centimeter roach. Comes with one treble, but we like to modify it a bit. Put a second treble on it. Damn, I love this color. It hurts your eyes. <laughs> oh! Bye-bye! <laughs> 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 That's how you professionally unhook a bike. Yeah! He gave you one little tap before. <laughs> Finally, I got one too. I missed uh, multiple fish. First one on the burbot, and then a couple on the 25 centimeter trout. The 25 centimeter. It's not a giant. But we can get a giant, so let's get it back quickly and catch another one. I missed one first, and then uh, I told Franz like I bumped into something. It spooked me a bit, but and then I hit it, and it was like hitting into a block of concrete. And then big fish incoming, you would think. And then. And this one should be easy to unhook. Let's get her back. Nice. Nice looking fish. Super strong, well built. Yo! Oh! Scheiße! Oh, nee. They're really nailing them today! Yes. Oh, St. Francis catching so well on the 25 centimeter. Moderate sink. Lemon trout roach. Lemon trout roach. Kind of a funky name. I'm going for the chop. It's one of the most natural colors Savage has produced. Super clear water. I mean, at the same time, a while back I was trolling with uh, the 25, no, the 32 centimeter moderate sink roach. I had two of them connected to my line, both with a Waterwolf camera. 
and the lemon color got eight fish either taking it or following it and the chub had only one follower so it was a really weird difference between the two colors i'm not really a big color believer but um it's kind of funky because it was clear water and you would think clear water natural colors but they went for the 25 centimeter so because France is hammering it and I got a couple good fish on the uh, on 25 centimeter trout, I am now going to switch towards the chop and see if I can destroy this thing as well. Let's give it a go. <laughs> the second cast of the chop. <laughs> It's a really good fish. Nice. Nice. <laughs> well, let's get it back quickly. The rain is pouring down as well, so now I'm not gonna kiss her. Bye bye. Insane, it was like the cast after that I, uh, I, I got the other fish, I couldn't even turn on the, uh, the camera, so it's, uh, it's really good. I mean, the rain is pouring down, but we're fishing on our bare feet, which is kind of funny too. We got rain gear on, but at the same time we got no, uh, no shoes on. I mean, you don't want to stand in waterproof shoes with uh, 20, 25 degrees outside, so um, yeah, fun. I mean, how many fish do we have already? It's like, uh, well, 14 or something, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I lost count. But... One hell of a good day. Ah, fun. It's nice to be out here, buddy. Let's get another one. They seem yeah. to be getting bigger and bigger after each single fish, so that's good too. <laughs> this is absolutely mental. Like, uh, next fish number. Yeah, let's get 17. 17, 18, I don't know. Like this is like the cast after I just released the other one. Good decision for me to switch to the uh, to the roaches. Oh, that's catching. Really healthy, but this one. As a weird. Ooh. So I don't know what it is, but hmm. maybe grabbed by another one. It could be, but a healthy fish. Either way, such good fun. These fish. I mean, they're not really gigantic fish, but it's super fun to catch them on 25 centimeter swim baits, and they really do like the uh, the swim baits. Like it's. I switched to the uh, to the trout, and I started catching as well. I mean, they didn't like the tail bait like a burbot. With a curly tail, but these roaches like it. It's pretty damn awesome. What we're doing now is we're just fishing against the drop off. It's like five meters over here, and then we got some shallow area, some reeds, some lily pads, um, and it gradually comes up towards the shallow area. So we're actually, you know, fishing a gradually coming a uh, drop off that is coming up gradually. There's a ton of fish, and the water is really clear. And you know, a roach, if we cast them, we're fishing with the moderate sink. I think it probably runs like one and a half meters tops, but just a slow presentation. You don't need to do anything crazy, just slowly reel it in. And then they whack the roll out of your hand. They come up probably from close to the bottom and then they just shoot up several meters. And that's why the, the, the takes are so, so strong. They hit it like a train because, you know, they got the momentum from spanning up a couple of meters and hit the bait straight away. So super fun. Let's try and see if we can catch another one, a couple. Maybe a big one as well because the biggest one so far has been like 90 centimeters. 
And I know, we know there are big, bigger fish out here, there must be. So uh, let's keep on uh, grinding this spot and see if it produces big fish. Decided to go a bit deeper. Fish the edge from five to eight meter. Uh, I missed a couple of fish in a row. Now I shook the, uh, the roach out of his jaw. But before that, it was completely engulfed. Let's see if I can get her out. Good stuff. Oh. Well, it that is what it is, but I think that's a fish number 18 or something like that, so really good. We are having lots of fun with casting the roaches. I mean, normally we troll these, but for casting, uh, it's an undervalued bait. I've been doing it for a couple of years, and um, yeah, the moderate sink is really well suited for casting above the deeper water, like between three and eight meters. And just do a steady, slow retrieve, and they will come up and take it. And takes are so much fun. And my chub? Well, we could say my little chubby uh, chubby chub isn't enjoying himself. <laughs> Bits and pieces flying off but still going strong. This is mostly from the hook because I do pierce the hook inside the bait. Um, normally when I troll I let them hang loose but now I like to put them inside the body because you're casting and then the trebles start flying around and then the trebles can land into the body like this. If the swimming motion is still okay, like this it will probably swim quite well, but then when the pike takes it, your hook ratio will be uh, quite shitty. If the swimming motion is not okay, for instance you hook the backside of this thing, you just waste it another cast. So what I usually do, but it does damage your bait a little bit. A little bit. It does damage your bait a bit. It's just pierce them gently into the body of the roach. Just fixate them so they don't fly around. Something like this. And then you're good to go. And then when you make your cast, oh, you need to pierce them well. Then you're good to go. And then when you make your cast and it lands in the water, the trebles can't pierce themselves into the body at some place where it shouldn't be. So that's a quick little tip for casting these roaches. Um, like I said, trolling. Just let them hang loose, casting, just pierce them gently. And this one is in pain, but still going strong. But you don't want to look at uh, Francis' uh, lemon roach, lemon trout roach. <laughs> Keep messing it up. So that is a wrap for today. Uh, we had a short session. We arrived relatively late on the lake. Uh, we had a lot of contacts. I think we had like maybe 30 contacts, especially on the, uh, on the roaches. But a powerful tool for casting above deep water, clear water. And we have been successful with these roaches during spring, summer, autumn, and even winter time. So it's a great all round tool and it's also fairly easy to use because you can just do a steady retrieve. You can do a spin stop, but you can also speed it up a little. So it makes that wide motion to one side and then it glides out like this and then hovers down and then you pause it to like one or two seconds and then you continue your retrieve. Amazing tool. I remember the day when we, um, when I got my first box of samples. We had two of the shallow runners and one moderate sink. And <laughs> I think we have four different colors. So that will be uh, 12 different roaches. And we fished them to pieces, especially the first couple of months where they weren't out on the market. Um, we just kept repairing them, especially uh, the, the, uh, the shallow at the time, above the grass, casting and trolling. Amazing bait. So many meter plus pike, so meter 120 pike on these roaches. And now Savage has launched these two new colors, the chump and the lemon. Amazing colors, amazing baits, and really good for casting too. So don't only use them for trolling, but use them for casting as well, guys. See ya.